So, you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach or Gulf Shores? Well, today we are going to talk about our favorite seafood restaurant. I cannot believe we haven't done a video on seafood. I guess we just take it for granted since we live here. You know, uh, we got called out by one of you, Ken G. He, uh, he actually mentioned to us that, you know, why have we not done a seafood video? We've done, you know, we did a uh, cheeseburger, best cheeseburger, best pizza, best steak, you wings, know, best wings, best breakfast. best breakfast, but we have not done a best seafood. I cannot believe we, we left that out. But we're going to solve that problem. We're going to do a video today on the best seafood and tell you where the locals go eat seafood. So let's That's get right. to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the little bell for notifications so you could be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about the Orange Beach Gulf Shores market and the surrounding areas. Uh, just everything there is to know about the area. My name is Andy Hollis. This is Aileen Fountain. And our entire team, we do these videos every single week just to let you know what it's like living at the beach. I mean, the beach life. I mean, we absolutely love it here. We think you'd love it here, and that's why we put out this content. So whether it's nine days or 90 days until you're thinking about making your move, please pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We'd love to talk to you face to face. We're not scared of you. We'll, we'll, we'll absolutely get on a Zoom call with you. So again, uh, we get phone calls, texts, emails, and things just like that every single day from people just like you, and we absolutely love it. I mean, we just love it. We love living at the beach, and we love letting people know what it's like living at the beach. So as I mentioned today, we're going to talk about our favorite seafood restaurants, which again, I can't believe we haven't done one of these videos yet. <laughs> I mean, we've been putting out this content for what probably three and a half months now and we just haven't even thought well, about seafood doing seafood is on just about every menu down here it's probably on 90 percent uh menu of any restaurant down here so we did we just uh take it for granted i guess yeah, absolutely i mean you know we just don't think about it because we eat it all the time. So, we know when you come into town that you want seafood. So yeah. here we're going to go over um, <laughs> our, our favorite places. Absolutely. So number, we'll just start on like we do with the, uh, the yeah. last videos and we'll just go down the list and say, uh, you know, what our what our opinion is on it, what right, we so think So what's of your it. number five, Andy? My number five on my list is actually fresh off the boat. Fresh Off the Boat is in San Roque Marina. Um, it is, to me, it's fantastic. I mean, and you don't have to take a loan out to eat there. I mean, it's uh, it's it's really good, fresh seafood. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's just the, the wait staff is phenomenal. And they have live music a lot of times, especially in the summer. Uh, they actually do a thing on Sunday. I, I, I'm not sure if they're still doing it or not, but they, they have this thing called uh, where they do like a... They play church music, you know, on Sunday because it's it's Sunday. So you know they do uh, church music, and I mean it's just a wonderful little atmosphere. And then when you walk in there, you actually feel like you're on the beach. I mean their flooring is is unbelievable. It's just amazing in there. So yeah, I actually haven't been there, but I have um, definitely heard nothing but good things about Fresh Off the yep. Boat. So what's your number five? So my number five is GT's on the Bay. Um, great atmosphere, great food. I just discovered this. So I can't believe I didn't discover it sooner, but out on the back deck to the right is like a fenced in area for little ones to play, which is great. To I did not to, know that. I didn't either. I couldn't believe it, but lock them into a, <laughs> uh, an enclosed area. Um, great for parents and, uh, the back deck's really nice back bar out there. It's on the water. Great food. Um, so yeah, go check, check, uh, GT's out. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Well, number four on my list. Now, now listen. When I'm going down this list, um, it it really depends on what kind. Because people ask me all the time, where would you go get eat seafood if you wanted to go eat seafood? I mean, I, you know, my family that comes here to visit, my friends that come here, they're like, where's the best place to get seafood? Well, it really depends on what you want. If you want fried seafood, then you know. There's a top five list for that. If you want grilled seafood, there's a, a whole different list, you know, so it just depends on what you want. But number four on my list is if you want it fried, is Bahama Bob's. Bahama Bob's used to have one of the greatest atmospheres because it's it was right it's right on the beach, but they used to have an 
uh, unobstructed view. Unobstructed view of the beach, but now it's and now yeah, it's not. now it's obstructed. <laughs> Somebody came in and bought the land right between the beach and Bahama Bob's, and they put up condos there. So uh, or single well, family, whatever yeah, it is, multi dwelling, yeah, um, so. residences, yeah. But anyway, so you, you can still see the beach. You just kind of have to peer around the, you know, the the, yeah, the houses. Yeah, the, the other big con, uh, Bahama Bob's, they have a tiny, tiny parking lot. You have to typically park across the street and walk across. Um, and the restaurant is also very small. But, uh, you know, it's I think it's... I think it's the we all, each only have one Gulf Shores restaurant on our list. So yeah. that sets it a little apart um, as a cute little locals Gulf Shores. Well, well and very touristy uh, restaurant. The, the food's amazing. Yeah. I mean, the food is just amazing. Drinks I, are good, too, know. there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, real quick story. We, Aileen and I have a friend of ours who is used to be, now she's calmed down a lot, but she used to be just hair on fire all the time. And we actually went there for lunch one day and wound up not leaving until 10 o'clock at night. So that'll tell you how good Bahama Bob's is. I mean, you know, or how crazy our friend Megan is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Which, whichever way. But uh, but anyway, that's number four on my list is Bahama Bob's. So number four on yours? So number four on mine is a restaurant that's been around for quite a long time. I would say 15 years is Cosmo's. Um, Cosmo is a very popular restaurant in Orange Beach. It is not on the water. Still has a great atmosphere, though, and the um, the food is excellent. Yeah. Isn't Cosmos and GT's on the Bay owned by the same people? I think. Um, and Luna's. And Luna's. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Three very cool restaurants. Yes. All good restaurants. Luna's is a good lunch spot, in my yeah, opinion. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Luna's, if you want to go get uh, home cooking, I mean, you yeah. know, they have a, like a meat and three that is very, just... Very popular lunch spot, oh my God. but it didn't yeah. make the seafood list. Plus, I can, <laughs> I can walk there for miles, so it's, yeah. yeah, that makes it better. And they have great, a, lot of, a lot of beers on tap, too. Yeah. So... Uh, number three on my list is actually, again, for fried food. I think they do have grilled food. I've never eaten the grilled food, as you can tell. Um, but I, And I'm aware if they, <laughs> unaware if they have grilled food. Yeah. I think it's all fried. But <laughs> um, but it's Doc's. I mean, Doc's is a local staple. I mean, Doc's has been here forever. As far as, as long as I've known, as, uh, you know, I've been coming to the beach, this area, for probably 25, 30 years. And I think Doc's been there you know, the yeah. entire time. Yeah. So. Um, Docks is a great place. They do have a really good bushwhacker, believe it or not. Um, and, and their original location there on Canal, at right where uh, 161 tees into Canal, is probably what, if you've ever seen it, is this old dive restaurant is Docks, uh, where parking's always overflowing. They they actually have a nice new location on Beach Road next to Ruby Slipper. That's right. Got a great outdoor area. Um, so, yeah, they you yeah. grow cornhole, right? A lot, probably yeah. a lot easier to get in. I know it's easier to get in and yeah. out of for, for parking, and it's a much larger restaurant. So, Well, I tossed this up between uh, number three on my list was doc, is Docs, but uh, I also had the point in uh, Interrarity Point. You know, it's in Perdido Key, but Interrarity Point is just... So we're doing honorable mentions because yes. I have an honorable yes. mention too. It is an honorable mention. Okay. It, it would be if... If docs were not in existence, the point would be number three on my list. So, okay. I mean, it's just okay. a great, fair, great fair place. Fair enough. Um, number three on my list is a very, very popular restaurant is the Gulf. And it is right in Orange Beach before you go over the pass if you're heading, um, if you're heading east. And it is great atmosphere, great food. You will need to take out a loan to go eat there. <laughs> yeah, um, I was about is, to say that. <laughs> it's, it's not cheap. Um, and you order at the window, and then they come bring it out to like a picnic table. But it's, it's on the Gulf. Gorgeous views. So you're paying for the views. The food is good. They have a, a grouper sandwich that is phenomenal, grilled or fried. It's, it's excellent. The tacos, too. Um, we're talking seafood, Andy. Oh, well, you know, but you can uh, get fish yeah, tacos. Yeah, you can. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, fish tacos. Um, but yeah, excellent, excellent atmosphere, excellent food. Um, just make sure you bring a lot of cash or a couple extra credit cards. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you do pay for the view. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so number two on my list is jellyfish. It's not in Orange Beach. It is in Perdido Key, but it is 
phenomenal. And I'm telling you, the pecan encrusted grouper is, whoo, I mean, it's, that is something There's else. only a couple good restaurants in Perdido Key. It's Perdido does not have as much to do as Orange Beach and Gulf Shores by a long shot, but jellyfish is definitely good. Yeah, absolutely. But that's, that's my number two is jellyfish, and then number two on your list. So, number two on my list is um, Sea and Suds in Gulf Shores, and it is by far the best fried seafood on the island, in my opinion, blows docks out of the water. Um, excellent um, economically. It's it's very uh, easy on on a family, you know. On your pocketbook. Every, on your pocketbook. <laughs> every Tuesday and Friday, they have all you can eat mullet, and very well priced. And it is legit all you can eat mullet. They will bring out baskets of mullet. It's the best mullet you will ever have. Hmm. Um, I didn't know that. And their fried shrimp is delicious as well, but uh, absolutely wonderful. Love Sea and Suds. I've been to Sea and Suds to have drinks simply because it's right there on the beach. It is directly on the Gulf. Amazing view. Um, it's another. That's another one you're, where you're going to have to park across the street and walk over. Um, they don't have any parking uh, on the Gulf, but then you walk down a little pier and you're at the restaurant and you are on the Gulf. But as far as you know, being uh, financially affordable and still a place that has yeah. great food, sea and suds, and that's why they made number two on my list. Gotcha. Well, number one on my list has two locations. It's one in Orange Beach, one in Gulf Shores. They're not owned by the same people, and I think their menu might be a little different, but it's steamers. Now, they don't have anything fried, nothing fried. It's called steamers it's for called a reason. It's called steamers <laughs> for a reason, but I'm telling you steamers to me if you want fresh seafood is the greatest place period now and steamers uh <laughs> or andy is a fixture at the steamers in orange beach he's yes. got his used own, to be yeah. yeah he used to have his own chair at the bar um yeah knowing by his you know kind of like cheers you <laughs> right. know what i mean everybody knew andy at, at steamers absolutely but, well and, they still do and so. he used to live like next door to steamers yeah steamers so. the one in orange beach is in san Roque marine the same places fresh off the boats right in the same little area but steamers is phenomenal to me i mean and, and they make a good drink i mean they really do but steamers uh i have a funny story about steamers so i'm actually as aileen mentioned i used to go there all the time and i'm sitting at the bar and there's a young lady sitting like right around the corner from me and i hear her on the phone with with <laughs> with uh, with one of her friends and she's like girl i'm down here in the gulf and i'm eating some some of the freshest seafood I've ever had in my life. I mean, they they catch it and bring it right onto you the table, right and, out of the Gulf. And she was eating crab legs, Alaskan, <laughs> Alaskan crab, crab, legs. crab legs. So let's dispel the rumor that <laughs> the crab legs are not fresh; they are frozen. They are shipped in. They come from Alaska. They did not come from now, the Gulf. <laughs> now the shrimp that you get, yes, is caught in the Gulf for the most part. Yeah, but. The crab legs are not. So, yeah. anyway. But it is still ph phenomenal. I mean, their crab legs are some of the best I've yeah. ever had. I mean, they're, they're just... they're Yeah, limited great. menu at Steamer, though. You might want to check the menu if you've got somebody who's not... I mean, they do have some non-seafood items, but it is, it's it's not... A, yeah, they have a steak that's phenomenal. Yeah, they have a good steak, but... but um, yeah, anyway. Uh, number one on my list is also my favorite restaurant in town. And so, it would be... Um, it would be, a, a, you know, not the right thing if I left it as not number one because it is so good. And that is Big Fish. Big Fish um, is on Canal Road. It is not on the water, no. but uh, excellent fresh food, uh, fish. They have fresh catch fish come in every day. The owner comes in. He personally cleans the fish every day. Um, so very, very good seafood. It's always fresh, always good. Uh, it, it's become so popular. They've even expanded and doubled the size of the restaurant. Um, so yeah. It, and they have a good steak too. Yeah. Really good steak. Yeah, they do actually have a really and good steak. And a great selection of wine. And uh, I don't personally eat sushi, but they um, I've heard that their sushi is phenomenal. Their sushi is very so. good. I get it all the time. Um, great service. Uh, very well-run restaurant. The owner is always there. Both him and his wife are always there. Uh, he will. He's always walking around talking to people. So it's yeah. it's, it's a very well run, great restaurant. And excellent it is. food. My my wife and I had our first official date. That's right at Big Fish. So yeah, I um, mean it's uh yeah. That's it's, typically where I we go if we have a date night or a um just a night out. And we yeah. 
want to go out to eat. It's Big Fish is big typically fish is always the one that we're going to pick. So. Yep. All right. Well, guys, that's going to about do it for our video today on the best seafood, just to tell you where the locals go. Um, so, again, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and ring the little bell for notification. That way you'll be one of the first ones to learn about our current market and all things the beach. So, what it, you know, the beach life. I mean, we just absolutely love it, and we would love to help you make a smooth move to our little slice of paradise. And also, don't forget, if you live here and you want to sell your property, we do that too. So, give us a call, shoot us a text, you know, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We'd love to talk to you face to face. If you live locally and you want us to meet you at a restaurant or something so we can sit down and talk, we'll do that too. So just pick up the phone, give us a call. Don't be scared of us. Let's let's get it going. That's right. Yeah, we would love to hear from you. Absolutely. So don't forget to watch our next video. And until then, hope to see you around town.